Grammar 4, Chapter 13, Adjective Clauses, Part 1. The Learning Objectives. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to identify adjective clause pronouns used as the subject. Identify adjective clause pronouns used as the object of the verb. Identify adjective clause pronouns used as the object of a preposition. Understand using whose in adjective clauses. Demonstrate using where in adjective clauses. And demonstrate using when in adjective clauses. Adjective clauses introduction. Clause. A clause is a group of words containing a subject and a verb. An independent clause, also known as main clause, is a complete sentence. It contains the main subject and verb of a sentence. A dependent clause. A dependent clause is not a complete sentence. It must be connected to an independent clause. An adjective clause. An adjective clause, also known as relative clause, is a dependent clause that modifies, meaning change, a noun. It describes, identifies, or gives further information about a noun. Adjective clause pronouns, also known as relative pronouns. This is an adjective clause which uses pronouns to connect the dependent clause to the independent clause. The adjective clause pronouns are who, whom, that, and whose. Who is used for people. Which is used for things. That is used for both people and things. For example, I thank the teacher who helped me. This is used for people. The main clause, I thank the teacher who helped me, is the adjective clause. The subject of the adjective clause is who. I thank the teacher that helped me. The computer which is on the desk is mine. The computer that is on the desk is mine. Adjective clause pronouns used as the object of a verb. The man who I saw was Mr. Costello. Or, the man whom I saw was Mr. Costello. The man that I saw was Mr. Costello. The man I saw was Mr. Costello. The football match which we saw last night wasn't very good. Please take note of whom that. This means no article and which. The football match that we saw last night wasn't very good. The football match we saw last night wasn't very good. Incorrect would be, the man who I saw him was Mr. Jones. Or, the man that I saw him was Mr. Jones. The man I saw him was Mr. Jones. This is an incorrect way to write. Who is used for people? Whom is also used for people? Which is used for things, and that is used for both people and things. Please take note of the examples given to you in the above sentences. Please pause your screen to understand.